back at it again, baby, and we got another one with JP the Comedian. Let's dive in. That flag represents freedom, and I'm willing to die. Hold on, what, what did that say? That flag represents... What do you think about the American flag? All right. ...represents freedom, and I'm willing to die in the name of it, because freedom is the very thing that makes life worth living. Uh, I hate it. It represents systemic racism and the oppression of all non-heteronormative cis white voices. All other countries are way better off. Like, do you have a lighter so I can set the thing on fire? After I got out of the military, I've had my hands in the dirt. Uh, hold on. Let me move my camera. Actually, I'll move this up out of the way. So y'all can actually see the words at the bottom of the screen. Farm. So I can set the thing on fire. After I got out of the military, I've had my hands in the dirt farming so I can support my family and help build a better community. Uh, yeah, I got my degree in gender studies where I discovered I'm a semi-trans, demisexual, neurodivergent, non-binary, gay, they who only dates women. And I'm an author now. I've written a book on how fetal racism can be solved through abortion. And my book's written entirely in braille to be more inclusive to the visually impaired community. I do 12 to 14 hour days doing backbreaking work so I can contribute to a better world around me. And you know what? I am proud to do it. Um, this one time there was a college professor that didn't state its pronouns before starting to lecture. I was so uncomfortable that I started to cry and shake. People had to help carry me out of class so I could find a safe space to process in. Then I raised enough awareness about its hateful conduct that I got it fired. I was very proud to do it. I have children. I'm confused by all this pronoun stuff, you know? Because last time I checked, if you're talking to someone, you're not going to call them they. You know, if me and you are face to face, I'm not going to be like, hey, yo, uh, Zer. That doesn't even make sense. I'm going to call you by your name. Hey, yo, John, what's going on? Like, I, I'm, 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 I'm just lost. So, like, you would think those would be used when that person isn't present. So, if they aren't present, why would it matter what they're called when they're not present? Because I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little... Maybe I got it mixed up. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. Y'all, can somebody help me out, please? Conduct that I got it fired. I was very proud to do it. I have children, and I work diligently to instill great values in them. I missed that. I have children. What do you do to make a difference? And, in and I work diligently to instill great values into them while treating all other people with kindness. I demand that other people that I don't like change. And if they resist, I treat them with ragefulness. With the wars I fought in, it's all. It is, and I touched on this the other day. It is crazy how that works and plays out, right? You got these individuals, not all, but you have, you have individuals who claim to want inclusivity and peace and love and, and want to be given respect and all, all of these, you know, nice and wonderful flowery things. But then when you disagree, it turns into rage and name calling and just the total opposite, you know? And it's just like, wait, I thought you were about love and, and peace, but I disagreed with you. And now like you're calling me all types of names and you're throwing stuff at me. Literally, we watched a Steven Crowder video where there was something being, I, I, I don't remember what it was, but he, he had something thrown at him. <laughs> and the person sitting next to him was like, oh, you okay? All right. So like the, the logic behind a lot of this stuff is just wild. So if one person's allowed to do it, like, am I allowed to do it too? Like, if they throw something at me, can I throw something back? Somebody explain this to me, because I, I'm, I'm really just lost, but yeah. What concerns you the most? It's all been about preserving democracy. I have put my life on the line fighting for it. Countries around the world that don't have free speech, rights, or freedom in general have communism instead of democracy. They want to spread their evil ways to the U.S. I just mm -hmm. think free speech and freedom in general are very dangerous and we'd be better off without them. So I spent a lot of my time fighting these things. And you know, we've never really tried communism the right way. Well, during the war, being shot at scared me a little bit. Microaggressions terrify me. I went over and fought in the war so my family and my country could know freedom because that's shot at scared me a little bit microaggressions terrify me I want that's another question too what the heck is a microaggression i've heard that several times uh, 
what is it? Microaggression. Like, I, I, I don't, I feel like it's another one of those made up terms to uh, signify something that someone disagrees with, you know? Oh, you disagreed with me. That's that's a microaggression. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm joking, obviously, but seriously, what what is a microaggression? I'm I'm honestly confused. Like, uh, Went over and fought in the war so my family and my country could know freedom, because that's what I believe is right. Which means bravery is always standing up for what you believe is right. Oh, I stand with a current thing every time. Going along with what I'm told to do is way braver than thinking for myself and risking having a point of view that might make me go against the herd. Well, all men are created equal. It's taken our society a while to realize this, but Martin Luther King Jr. has it right when he says, judge a person based on the content of their character not the color of their skin. Literally everything's about race. And Joe Biden's living example is that you should judge a person based on the color of their skin, not the content of their character. And he's white. So black people should listen to him when he tells them what they should think. Um, yeah, we need more censorship because words are the same thing as violence. Literally the most dangerous thing I can think of in the entire world is misinformation. It's fun to imagine what our future will be like if we can install more censorship now. It's what Hitler did to take... Wait, 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 wait. And I, I've touched on this before. My thing is, <clears throat> there are other solutions to censor cens censorship. Sheesh, I can't say it right. Um, so, for example, on Twitter, you have a mute button. If there's somebody saying something that you don't like you have the ability to mute them. So you will no longer see whatever it is that they tweet or say to you. You won't see it. But instead of that, we gotta ban people. We have to, we have to literally have the, the uh, uh, heads at Twitter have their minions censor your speech instead of just in each individual just have a mute button. Everybody can say whatever they wanna say. Each individual has their own personal mute button, you know, where you won't see any of their tweets, but everybody else in the world will, will, will see what it is that they have to say. And the, the, the heads of these social media companies are the, are the arbitrators of truth and they get to decide what actually is the truth and what isn't. And us as citizens, dumb citizens can't decipher through any BS whatsoever for ourselves we just we have to be told what the actual truth is we can't decide it's just not possible we're too dumb sounds a little bit weird huh you know it sounds a little weird why 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 and also like just why not use a, a mute button instead of actually censoring speech is your true purpose to just censor speech or do you have something bigger in mind hmm i wonder what do you think? Let me know in the comment section. The future will be like if we can install more censorship now. It's what Hitler did to take over a country and damn near the world. Infringing on free speech is always the spearhead of evil and destruction. But the idiot people over in Germany thought he was using censorship to save democracy rather than destroying it because that's what he told them. So they actually supported it. Why would you ask that question? Even a two-year-old knows what a woman is. Please just answer the question. Right, well, a woman is someone who has babies, raises a family, and if you want to get technical, it's someone with two X chromosomes. Like, I mean, you don't have to be a biologist to know what a woman is. Oh, we literally don't know what a woman is, but I think also at the same time, anyone could be a woman who wants to be one, but I, I don't know for sure because I'm n not a biologist. Your response. And that, that whole debate, you guys know how I feel about that. Um, it's just wild to me how we go from everybody knows what everybody is. It's just, you know, it, it's just common knowledge. It, it's 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 very, very simple to this overly complicated. Oh, I don't know what it is. But last time I checked, if words don't have a definition, it means that they're not words. Correct. Like if I just say um, flamenomagus hyperbole flamenobagus hyperbole all of y'all like wait what what does that mean i'm just like flamenobagus hyperbole just because i say it doesn't make it a word like don't words have to have definitions correct 
Let me know in the comment section. If, if, if the word woman doesn't have a definition, then it's not an actual word. So when people talk about fighting for women's rights and, oh, no, I'm a woman or womanhood, like, that's not, th those are false terms. Th that woman isn't a word. It doesn't have a definition. I'm, I'm confused. I'm, I'm lost. Like, a woman is a woman. A man is a man. Whatever you're born as is what you'll die as. Like, if you want to change your outward appearance, all that good stuff, that's fine. Be happy. Nobody's saying that you can't. Listen, if you if you are of age and that's what you want to do, I encourage you to like uh, no problems, no issues whatsoever. Um, I'm happy for you. Genuinely. I go back to uh, the uh, Matt Walsh video where there was a trans individual changed her outward appearance to look like that of a man, which <laughs> did look like a guy. But she specifically said, I will never be a man. I may look like one, but I, I that that's not something that I'll ever be. And I just I just don't understand why that's controversial. You know, like I'm I'm just like why is that like a, a hateful thing to say? Like it, I, I'm I'm just confused. Like everything is hateful if you disagree, and it's just like no, I I don't hate this individual. I really don't. Y'all y'all let me know. Am I tweaking? If if if, if I'm wrong, let, let me know that I'm wrong, please, please. I I, I understand. I could be wrong on anything. So um. Yeah, if you guys feel that I'm off on this, see, uh, talk to me. ...for everything good or bad that happens to you. So work hard, do something that contributes to a better world around you. Absolutely. Have a family, be in service to God, and take self-responsibility. Go to college so you can learn to be an activist. Oh, and also demand that someone else pay for it. And then once you're out, don't work hard because that's just oppressive. That's why we need socialism. Do something to destroy the nuclear family, have a few abortions, be of service to the medium, and always make sure to victimize yourself over things that have nothing to do with you. Living according to values that keep me in service to God and make the lives of the people around me better. Destroy what you don't like. So, um, a lot, a lot was in that video there. I feel like I pretty much touched on everything that I needed to touch on in that one. But also, I think part of it is to sow even more division. And I don't want to be like a conspiracy theorist or anything like that, but there's always, I feel like there's always a, um, a big battle to fight, you know? There's always like this big social justice war going on like it's never just peace there's always like this some kind of social justice war going on like there's always something and i don't know i i've, I've just like sat back and was just like thinking like why is that you know but i don't know Nah, like i said maybe may, maybe i'm just becoming too much of a conspiracy theorist y'all let me know in the comment section below like share comment and of course Hit that subscribe button before you go. It's right up over there. Click that thing right there. All right? And after you do that, check out that video too. You might like it. Peace and love. I'm out.